the first decision that I made after I came from this psychiatrist, uh, psychiatrist home was actually, no, he, he prescribed me the medicine and I came home and I felt really down. Like I was depressed. I was struggling with doing like basic things. I wouldn't get out of bed. I would sleep a lot. It was, it was a very dark period of my life. Yeah. And then one night at about 3 a.m., I just couldn't fall asleep. And I had like, I, again, like I had these thoughts that were racing. And I took one of the pills that he prescribed me. And I got so knocked out, like almost immediately. I really slept for a long time. And when I woke up, I was also still like, like a little bit dizzy. And I could feel the effect of, of the pills. And I was like numbed out, basically. And I realized that I will do like, like this is just a no go. This was like a rock bottom that I knew that I'm not going to take any of those, you know, those pills anymore. So what I decided back then is that I will do one thing for the rest of my life. And it's like doing three things every day before I like thinking about three things I'm grateful about every day before going to sleep and every day after I wake up. And I wouldn't decide to go to sleep before I was able to come up with three things I'm grateful for. And I wouldn't leave bed before I had those three things. And this was basically the next, the next eight to nine months. Wow. Like, and it was pure faith. I only believe that this will work. And it's funny because when you do this exercise, at first you have a lot of, you know, like at first it's hard because you have, because when you're really low, trying to come up with something you're grateful for is not, you know, it's not the easiest thing. But if you do it again and again and again, it's like it, it becomes like a muscle. It's like you train yourself to find, you know, to come up with something that you're grateful for and you feel a little bit better. And this is why I, why I uh, wrote, like the, the reason why you read that 1% growth is all that matters. Yeah. Because it's the compound interest that counts. Like if you do this every, I did this every morning and it was easier and easier to find this, like to find things I'm grateful for. And then like funny, funny situations happened when I was like, you know, when I was out of my experiences to be grateful for, I started to be grateful for simple things. Like I was grateful for birds singing, you know, I, I could hear from the window, for the blue sky, for the green trees and, and stuff. And the, the, the most beautiful thing happened when I realized that I'm out of things to be grateful for, because I was already grateful for birds eight times. Yesterday, I was grateful for my mother's lunch and like, like all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And at that moment, the idea came, what if I can be grateful for the negative stuff? And I started to reframe little by little the, th the, the negative things that, that happened. Because when you do this, it's like you, you look outside and you made the intention to feel grateful and you just wait until the things come to you, whatever that is. And it, it will come eventually. And if you do the same thing with experience, you will come to the, you will come to, to the emotion and you will link the new emotion gratitude to that experience. The problem is that sometimes it, it takes a lot of, it takes a long time because there's a lot of other stuff coming at you. So like if like there's this, uh, I, I don't know, like shameful experience I had and everyone was laughing at me, I would try to be grateful, but it's impossible because I'm ashamed as fuck, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's impossible, but I would just wait and wait and wait and it would eventually happen. And wow. after about nine to 10 months, I was doing this one morning and I realized that I can actually do this with every experience in my life. So I literally set, in, set into the car and I went for a weekend to the, to the mountains. I took my, my computer and I wrote down 10 of my worst experiences in life. And for the next, like for three days, 16 hours every day, I was just writing and thinking, writing and thinking, crying, writing, crying, thinking, and like I was reframing <laughs> all these experiences. Wow. And it felt amazing. It felt amazing. And I felt like, like a great part of me was like, like this, the, the critical part that I, of myself that I needed to heal was healed. It just felt awesome.